so I ordered some Sunny Angels off of the Sunny Angel USA website. And I thought we could open them up on camera. Um, so I got six. It should be. Um, so I got one of the Message of Love. Sunny Angel New York. And this is the Island series. So I got two of each. And I was a little worried at first because they came in this flower box, but everything's right. So let's go ahead and open these up. So these are all ones that they don't sell at the store near me. So I got these ones. And I think I'm going to go ahead and open this one first. So this is the Message of Love series, and they have all of these options. So let's go ahead and open her up. And I always open it from the bottom. And I'm super excited. I've been waiting for these for so long. Actually, not that long, but it felt like a long time. All right. the one I wanted. Look how cute. What's this one's name? Dalmatian. Adorable. I love it. Go ahead set it right here. And I'm kind of saving the boxes. I don't know. Just like if I want to sell them or anything. Okay let's do New York. I love New York City and these are so adorable. Oh, here's the ones that we could get. So, Statue of Liberty, Yellow Cab, Broadway, Big Apple, and then The Secret and The Robbie. I'm excited. I really want the Apple or the Statue of Liberty. But any of them is fine. Because I like them all. So, here it is. Go ahead, open it. And I got the apple. Look how cute. So these are the ones that we got so far. I'm going to set them right here. And put this back in there. Now for the island series. So we can get any of these. I really want the rabbit, I think. Oh, they're all cute, so it doesn't really matter. But I just recently bought, like, a shelving kind of thing for my sunny angels that I'm gonna hang on the wall and I'm excited to display them all right let's see oh it's a pig what's this one's name they call it chocolate pig omg they're so freaking cute okay so Next, we'll do another message of love. I don't know. I kind of like the rabbit and the cow. I don't know. I really just don't like the fox. But if I get the fox, it's okay. We will see. There it is. Oh, okay, so the deer. At least it wasn't the fox, because I really didn't like that one. Alright. Moving on, another New York City. Let's see. I've never got a secret or a Robbie, so it would be pretty cool. To get that. Mm, some of these are glued really tight. Okay. There it is. Yes! Okay, so I got the two I wanted out of that one, so that's pretty cool. So I got, oops, I'm gonna lay them all out. Statue of Liberty, the Apple, Dalmatian. 
pig, reindeer, and I have one more of the Island series. So let's go ahead and open that. Hopefully it's a good one. I love these things so much. Okay. Open it from the bottom. And here it is. Last one. Oh! It's an orange. Orange is my favorite color. This is so freaking cute. Okay, so these are the ones I pulled today. And I got some last week. So I'm trying to collect all of the Donna Wilson series. And I got this one, which I didn't have. But I did get two that I already have. So it's kind of a bummer, but I can like, I'm trying to sell it or trade it. And then I got two from the Sweet series. So I got this one. This is called Pudding. And then I got Pancake, which I really wanted this one because pancakes are my favorite. And they're so cute. But yeah, these are all the ones I got. And I'm planning on getting more. And I can do more unboxings if you guys want. Hello, everybody. It's me again on another day. And I thought today that we could do a what's in my Delphonics utility pouch. So I really love this thing and it always stays on my desk. Um, it doesn't really move much because I don't really journal anywhere but my desk. So this is mainly just like an extra drawer on my desk. I got this off of Amazon. This is the medium size. And it was like $30. And this is the back. I really like this thing and I want to get uh, the small one just because I think it's cute and I have a bunch of pins that I need to place somewhere and I think that would be, would be perfect. So we'll go over the pins on the front first. So this is a Gudetama Cinema Roll keychain by Kid Robot and I got this at a local video game store but if you search this then you can find them. They're, they come in little blind boxes and I have a bunch. And this is from Happy Daya. I got this for free when I ordered from her. And then my mom gave me this. And I just thought it was super cute, so I just threw it on here. So those are the keychains I have. And then for the pins, these two are vintage. My mom got them from yard sales. This one I got at the same video game store. It came in a little blind box thing. I think it also is Kid Robot, so if you search Kid Robot Hello Kitty blind box pins, you could probably find this. I found this on the floor at the mall, so there he is. This I got from a local comic book store. This is from Hot Topic. This is from, I don't know how to say her name, it's like Bloom Coley. She has an Etsy shop, I'll link it below. Because I have a bunch more stuff from her in here. And then this Gorillas pin I got from my friend. So that's it for the pins. Okay, we'll start over here. So first I have my Twisby Glow Green fountain pen. All my fountain pens just live in here. I don't have a fountain pen case yet. Okay, and then here is my Sailor Christmas Pudding. This is like literally my favorite pen and it's the cutest size. Okay, and then this is Twisby. I don't know what color this is called, but it looks like this. It's the same as the Glow Green, just a different color. I really like the Twisbees. I've been having trouble with this one though, lately. Okay, um, I have these two. Uh, is it Lamy or Lamy? I think it's Lamy. So these are Lamy Safaris. This one's my boyfriend's. It needs ink in it. He got a broad nib, so I don't really use this much. Um, and then this is a fine nib. This was my, like, one of my first fountain pens, and I love it. 
So they just live right here in the front. Just like that. And then I have two more fountain pens. So this is, this was my first fountain pen, a Coveco Sports in the purple color. I just recently changed out the nib from a fine to a medium because the ink I had in it, like wasn't taking it with the fine nib, like no ink was coming out at all, but now it comes out. And then this is a Coveco Brass Sport. I got this for Christmas and I love this pen. I do kind of have problems with this sometimes, though. I don't know. Maybe I just, like, have bad luck with getting the scratchy nib ones. Because I do order fine nib on those. So I also have this Hobonichi 2023 multi-color. I think this is a ballpoint pen. But I just keep this in here. I don't really like that pen, but it's just there if I ever need it. And moving on. In this little pocket right here, I just have little tabs. Um, I really like these, but they just don't stick that well. But they're cute, so. And then post-its. These are my fave. So those just live in here. And then in this pouch, I have... I don't think I really have anything. I have an eraser. This is my fave eraser. I want to get the one that Pocket Journal Pam uses that's like a pencil eraser, but this is what I have for now. Maybe one day I will level up. Okay, and then in here, nothing. Um, I have some paper clips just chilling here. And then in this one. Okay, so these are like little post-its. Is it called? Ha yep, Happy Bunny. And... They just live in here, and I think that's all. So, that is it for the front, and now we'll move on to the back. In the back, I just keep a bunch of postcards. So, I just have a bunch of different postcards, mainly vintage postcards. These I've already shown, I think. That I got from the antique store. But the first ones I showed you are actually from like ones like my family collected. And I just kind of took them over. And then these postcards. I got these in like a sticker order that I placed. And then these like Halloween. I have more of those somewhere. This I got in New York at the Harry Potter store. But it's too cute to use it. I don't know. Okay, and then this is from Pip Sticks. This is from Pip Sticks. This is from Pip Sticks. And then here's more of the... Okay, here's her name. Bloom Collie. Bloom Collie. I don't know. I don't want to mess it up. I know I did, but... There's more. And moving on to the inside. This is what my inside looks like. Nothing exciting. So I'll just start off. Okay, well, let's start off with this. So this just kind of lives in there because it's small. I got these off of Etsy. I think they're just like little half pan sizes, but they look like this. Schminke watercolors, I think is how you say. And then I have this little... So this paper is all the colors that are in there. Um, so this just kind of lives in the pocket in there. And then in the other pocket, I have some Hello Kitty pens that I got a couple years ago from the Hello Kitty Cafe truck. And I just don't have anywhere to put them. And that's why I want to get another pouch. Because I stick my, well, I have stuck my pins on my purse, and then they just get lost. And I stick them on my clothes and stuff, but they get lost. So, since this goes nowhere, my pins will be safe. 
Um, there's nothing in this pocket. And then in the big part, yeah. So in the big part, I keep this is for my Canon um, selfie because I don't keep this in it all the time because it just takes up too much room. My desk is like kind of small. So this just like lives there whenever I want to use it. My new memo pad, which is so adorable. And it just lives in there. And I have some stickers. Again, this is from that same shop. And more stickers. Oops. Aren't these adorable? And more. And they just live in there. And I have the pen loop that I hauled in the previous video that I have yet to put on my notebook. We'll get there one day. And then I have, this is a business card. And more little art print cards from that same shop. Because I got a mystery um, surprise box from her. Um, oh, here. So I got this off Etsy. It's the surprise box. And it was like 15 or like $20. And it had the cutest stuff in there. And I really want to order another one. I got so much stuff. Actually, there's a reel of me unboxing it on my Instagram. If you want to scroll down and look for it. But... Okay, and then here's another art card. And I love these. I want to frame these. These are beautiful, and I love the paper. It's like, it feels like watercolor paper. I really love them. And then this is from another Etsy shop that I really like. I think her name is Boopsie Daisy, and she does a lot of, like, cupy doll stuff. So I ordered two prints that are on my wall, bigger ones. I don't know what the size is. But, um, these were free. So, she actually gave me five freebies. And I ordered three things, I think. So, that's a really good shop, too, that I'd recommend if you like stuff like that. But, that is it for what is in my Delphonics utility pouch. Um, I hope you guys liked the video. I know I've been kind of MIA. I've been dealing with, like, medical stuff, as you guys know. But I really want to get some more videos up for you guys. I'm I'm trying. Um, I'm getting my room together as we speak. So I can do a, like, studio tour for you guys. But yeah, so that's, like, my biggest thing I'm, like, worried about right now. Is getting my room done so I can post that video. Because I know a lot of you guys want to see it. But yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys liked it, and if you liked it, go ahead and give it a like, and if you're not subscribed, go ahead and do it if you want, and you can join me on my journaling journey, and I'll see you guys next time.